a CM backup file is an unsigned CMA backup. And basically what that means is that you can send this file to anyone you want, you can upload it to a public repo if you wanted, do anything you want with it, right? You can share it to anyone and they will be able to restore that backup on their PS Vita. And um, basically normally with normal CMA backups this won't work. It will just say, you don't own this content, sorry you can't install it. But with IMG tools, but with IMG tools you can actually get around this very easily. So I have actually added this feature into PSV IMG tools as like an actual feature, not something you just have to do manually. So yeah, and I'm going to be showing you how to use that. I'm going to be showing you how to create and install one. And it should be noted that although you can install DRM content, it won't actually run unless you have a valid license file and activation data because, um, yeah, P yeah, the PS Vita hates DRM content and you not owning it. It just it just doesn't work. But net um, DRM free content will work fine. So yeah. Now you don't need the latest version of PSV IMG tools because it was only added in like the latest version. So I'll have a link to that in the description if you don't already have it. If you downloaded the PSV IMG tools quite a while ago and haven't downloaded it again since, you're definitely only need to install the latest version. But if you downloaded it quite recently and you did download version 03.2, um, then it will work fine. So yeah. So. I of course already have this because I kind of created it. So yeah, so here I am. I'm just gonna run it, and I'm using Unix, so I'm just gonna run it in console. That way I get the uh, text. All right. Now to install one, um, there's actually a few places you can do this from. You can do this in Backup Manager, Sign and Pack, PS Vita, and then install that CM backup. Or you can, on Windows at least, you can drag and drop the actual CM backup file onto your PSV IMG tools icon. Or you can do an easy installer, which is where I'm going to be doing it from. Alright, now you want to go see him back up, right? And you just want to go install. And then you want to choose your account, and go choose account. Alright, now we just want to browse to the see him back up file. So I'm just going to go find that, mine is in here, it's see him back up files. And I'll have a link in the description where you can get a whole bunch of these, but all the ones have currently public key. And if you guys make any and you want to put them up there, just DM me on Twitter and I'll upload them. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing something really small because this is a video and I want to make sure that it's not going to be super long if you're just watching text fly past you. But I assure you it will work with anything. Um, so, yeah, Ni I'm going to be using a Nico Nico app, which is essentially the, P the um, Japanese version of YouTube. Um, I'm going to click on open, alright, and now it's going to sit here and go through and it will say done backup created. Alright, so now that's done, we're going to switch to the PS Vita. Oh, almost forgot, I thought you need to refresh your database on QCMA. So just go to your system tree and click refresh database. Yeah. Okay, now that's done. Now we can go on the PS Vita. Alright, so on the PS Vita, you just want to plug it in. Which I'll do right here. Alright, plug that in. And now I just want to turn it on. Alright, and swipe this away. 0931, whatever your password is. Alright, and now you're on the home screen, you want to open Content Manager. And now, what you're doing here is actually dependent on the CM backup file. Um, for example, if it's a CM backup file of a PSP game, you'd want to go. PSP, I cannot connect, of course I can't, for God's sake. Okay, I can't get USB to work, I'm just going to use Wi-Fi. It's, it's the same thing on USB, pretty much. Alright, so that connected just fine. So now you want to copy content from PC to PSV though, applications, and depending on the type of CM backup it is, you want to select that app, that type of application. However, if you want anything to actually run, chances are it's a PS Vita application. Because everything else here is, is DRM's by default, and there's no DRM free versions of it. So chances are you're probably downloading something for the PS Vita, because you want it to actually work. Um, and there you see there, the application, the Japanese application. As you can see, I'm just going to click copy. I'm going to ignore the battery level warning, and I'm just going to click OK. And that's going to copy to my PS Vita. I'm going to keep getting notifications on my phone. 
But as you can see there, it is copying the PSP though, it is a bit slow, so I'm using Wi-Fi, because for some reason USB doesn't want to work. CMA is such a pain in the ass sometimes. Now that's done, you head out, you will see right there. And you can see I can do that, I can run it. And it works. just fine. So, now the question is, okay, how do I create a CM backup file? Well, it's relatively the same sort of process, but the first thing you want to do is on your PS Vita, you want to start a content manager. Copy content. PS Vita to PC. Applications. Choose the type of content you would like to create. And then, simply select whatever you want to create a CM backup file for. I'm going to use something really small because I don't want this video to be extremely long. How about... I'll do Facebook. Even though the Facebook app is pretty much both blocked, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna use Facebook. That's a copy. Alright, now let's copy to your PSP, I just want to go on your PC. Alright, so now on your PC, you just want to go open PSV IMV Tools, and then head over to a backup manager, unsign and extract, select whatever type of thing it is, click on your account, just choose account, and then you just want to select the backup, and select create.cm backup. And then you can just save it any way you want. I'm just going to save it in this folder, and I'll call it Facebook, and it's hit save. It will extract it, and it will ask you if you want to include the save file. Um, now, keep in mind, save data can sometimes contain personal information. For example, in the Netflix app, it contains the Yagen details. So, I honestly would just suggest saying no anyway, because the chance that person who's downloading this doesn't actually want to save data, they probably want to make their own game. So, I'm just going to select no. You can, you can select yes, and it will ask them if they want to use it when they install Um So, yeah, now that's done. If I just check here, here is the Facebook.cm backup file, and you can just post that anywhere you want. And if they have this app, they can they can decrypt it and stuff. And, well, it's not encrypted in the first place, that's the whole point of it. it it's actually an unsigned backup file. But yeah, that is, that is how CM backup files work. That is it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.